Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020, and it's Holy Wednesday. And here is today's daily reflection. You know, as I've been self-isolating along with many of you at home, I think all of us in some ways have begun to binge watch certain shows, if not new ones, with all the spare time we've had in the last month, and especially in some very comfortable clothing. I started watching one of these new shows back in January, and as it goes really well with my love for music, the title of the show is called Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. It's about this young woman who all of a sudden develops an ability to hear other people's thoughts through popular music. She has a conversation with a friend, a family member, a colleague, and a stranger, and all of a sudden, in her eyes only, the person with something on their mind breaks into song while everyone else around them is in a flash mob. She's the only person who can see this and she uses it to help bring light to her own issues while simultaneously helping other people with theirs. The whole time she's struggling with being the daughter of a father with a fatal illness that's robbed him of his speech and given him very limited movement. Today is Holy Wednesday, as I said, and as I read daily in the gospel, I hear the words of Jesus much like yesterday. One of you will betray me. All the apostles turn around to each other and turn to Jesus and say, Not I, Lord. But Jesus already knows the answer. He knows it's Judas, and he says to his apostles, It is he who has dipped his hands in the same bowl as me. And mind you, everybody at the dinner has dipped their hands in the same bowl as him. Jesus sees the confusion on everyone's faces, and he knows their concerns, and he always has a response even if it's not what everyone is expecting. You know, it's hard to come up with a new topic for reflection every day. Sometimes it comes really easy, and other times I have to rack up my brain to find something meaningful to share with you. But I guess what I'm trying to say with my reference to the gospel and my little TV show review is that God knows what's in our hearts. Last night I spent most of my time working on a paper for my course, and I needed a break. I sat there watching this TV show, and then I just began typing. He knew what was in my heart. And I need to remind you every day, whether you feel like things are going really well, or whether you feel like the day has gotten you beaten down, God knows what's in your heart. He doesn't need a song and dance. He reads you like he created you. And the funny thing is, he did. He loves you so much that he let his own son die on a cross to make sure your life would be filled with hope and not bogged down by sin, sadness, and death. Yesterday, we just got the news that pretty much all of our trips, athletics, and extracurriculars, and even our end of the year festivities will be canceled or postponed. So my message is, as it has been before, open up yourself to the Lord. Talk to him, tell him how you're feeling. Heck, even if you want to sing it out loud, or do a dance routine. Just know that God is listening. He doesn't cause the bad crap that's happening right now, but he's always there to support you through it. And so let's continue with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, listen to us today as we ask you to take the joys and the sadness in our hearts. We offer all of the stuff in our life to you, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But you know our hearts, and we ask you today and every day to speak through them to help better our lives and to help us better the lives of others. When we can't offer you a song and dance, we know that you have a playlist of all of our hearts. Remind us that you know just what to do with them. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow.